Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to more wish cuisine. Today on a request, I am making charcuterie board or a cheese board. This one I made for a Thanksgiving potluck party. So it's on harvest theme, but today in this video, I will share how to make the best charcuterie board or a cheese board. I will share all the tips and tricks, whatever stuff we need, and how we assemble this beautiful plate. So let's go and make it happen. As you can see, there is a pumpkin shaped beautiful centerpiece in the middle. That's a cheese ball which I shaped into a pumpkin. So first I'll share the recipe with you guys for this cheese ball. So first I took a bell pepper and cut them into small chunks and saved the stem and put this bell pepper on the side. Then I took a large mixing bowl and add a whole block of cream cheese with some garden cream cheese spread, vegetable cream cheese spread and then start mixing with the electric beater until both of the cheeses are completely combined. You can do this with the hand whisk as well. Now I'm adding some hidden really ranch salad dressing seasoning mix. The whole packet goes in. Mix until the seasoning is completely mixed through. Then I'm adding the chopped up bell pepper and half of the shredded cheddar cheese and then start mixing with the spatula until all the ingredients are completely combined. Now your dip is done. You can put it in the fridge right now and serve it in a bowl with the crackers. But since I am turning it into a pumpkin, for that I'll be making a cheese ball. For that I uh, took a regular plastic wrap, sar saran wrap and then uh, sprinkled some shredded cheddar cheese and then sprinkled the shredded cheddar cheese on top of this cream cheese mixture like you can see here. Then start wrapping. Uh, with the wrap and make it look like a ball now if you want to make a cheese ball so this is how it is now it's done just uh, tie the knot on top and put it in the fridge but since I was turning it into a pumpkin so I just indent a little on top and then I took a chick kitchen twine and wrap it around to make it look like a pumpkin you can use regular rubber band as well now this will go in the fridge for at least two hours or uh, preferably overnight it will retain the shape as well and then all the flavors will infuse and it will be a delicious dip now since it's in the fridge let's go and see what things we need to make our charcuterie so first we talk about utensils the basic and the most important thing we need to make our cheese board or charcuterie board is the serving platter these are one of the examples you these are pack of two it made or with a side wood and it's perfectly safe to serve the food now you can use these kind of cheese platters are these are slate platters and uh, it's lazy susan or i have another serving platter to show you guys it's actually a uh, dip and um, chip uh, platter it comes with a big bowl to put the dips and or tortilla chips around the best part is that it has little rim on the side so if you are traveling with your um, cheese board so this these this kind of uh, serving board will work best now you can buy any um, chopping boards as well the like these kind these are uh, presentable and they comes in pack of three so you can make different sizes of cheese boards as well now since you're making a cheese board and serving a lot of cheese, you need some cheese knives and spreaders uh, to uh, put it on your charcuterie board. We always have some dips or sauces, so you can use some kind of ramekins, a decorative bowls, or uh, even like a honey jar or a, a jam kind of bottle, any decorative bowls would do. Now let's talk about what kind of fruits and veggies we need. The best bet is to use whatever fruit or vegetables in the season or if you are making your board according to any theme so go with that you can use sliced apples grapes a lot of berries watermelon whatever fruits you and your family like then we need to add some kind of snacking item the stuff which will help our dips to go into our mouth the, the key is to add different kind of textures and flavors so like pretzels um, some salty mini crackers or thin weed or even regular Ritz crackers works best uh, or you can add any kind of tortilla chips or these kind of uh, wedgie chips they will add a pop of color to your platter as well and of course different texture and flavor now let's talk about some cheese for the cheese board again same formula works here different textures different flavors some semi soft some hard cheese some spreadable cheese like brie uh, goat cheese blue cheese different shapes and different texture works for the cheese board 
Now we need some dips and sauces for our cheese board. My best favorite these days is tzatziki sauce. I dip some um, carrots and cucumbers in there. Of course, you can do regular hummus so people can use it with the fruits and vegetables and of course with the crackers. The most commonly used ones are some honey and fruit jams. Now let's add some nuts and seeds to add more crunch. You can use your regular or roasted almonds, pistachios, pine nuts. Uh, I would suggest to use some uh, trail mix as well. It will add a lot of different texture and flavor to your cheese board. Last but not at all the least, we can add some fresh flowers or fresh herbs like rosemary or thyme. So our cheese board will get that aroma and that beautiful look as well. Since we are making charcuterie boards, charcuterie means cured meat or processed meat. There are a lot of halal options available in the market. You can use pepperoni, bologna or any sausage. Today I'm not using any meat in my board which makes my board a simple cheese board. Now it's time to arrange and assemble our charcuterie board or cheese board. First I am using this um, platter which I showed you guys. So, because I was uh, transporting my cheese board, I was taking it to the potluck party. So I'm using it just because it has this rim. And right now I'm just putting everything on its place to see which it looks better and which will fit best in there. And then this platter has this food grade um, plate in the middle to save the platter underneath. And now I am taking out that pumpkin from the fridge, uh, that cheese ball. And I'm just um, unwrapping the kitchen twine first and then I'll very carefully just transfer um, this pumpkin or cheese ball into this um, middle platter. Then I uh, took that uh, stamp which I saved it in the paper towel so it won't dry out and very uh, with a very light hand just push it in the middle and this pumpkin will work as a centerpiece for our cheese board today. Then I am um, just uh, transferring the hummus into this bowl and I am rearranging the pepper part of the hummus in the bowl as well. And then I am, today I'm serving some honey as well. I'm using this honey jar. You can use a regular bowl or spoon as well. Now, we, first I'll start putting the bigger item. Then smaller item will uh, adjust and make their space by themselves. Now when I'm raising the cheeses, I am using the uh, sliced uh, cheddar cheese and I'm cut the cheese into quarters and the cheese stick into cubes. If you find all these uh, pre-cut, you can use that as well. I had to do this process but I couldn't find any uh, halal cut up cheese options. Now I'm arranging some strawberries. I cut one strawberry into half just to make it look more prettier. Now I'm arranging some um, bread crackers and um, wheat thins on the other side of the platter just to make it look prettier and to add more texture and adding different crackers and I added some pretzels as well. After that, I am um, just adding these veggie chips for the pop of the color and of course for different textures like we talk about. Adding some pistachios and almonds and I'm using them as a filler to fill up the rest of the spaces. In the end, just goes the rosemary springs and my cheese platter or charcuterie board is ready. I am personally a big fan of charcuterie boards. They look so nice and presentable. They are great for entertaining. You can make it according to your theme. There are a lot of options available online or of course you can use your own imagination and recreate it. And if you are doing so, please let me know how it turned out with you. If you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to make it happen for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to click on the links to enjoy a lot more videos like this.